The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? The start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. Well, me? Oh, this guy over here? I'm Travis the Middlest. Hey, what's up? This is Griffin McElroy, the youngest one of them. I feel like Griffin, yeah, you're your not really bringing it, it, man. Yeah, talk about your energy. Can you speak on that, please? My energy? Yeah. Yeah, can you speak on that, please? Your energy right now is just sort of like, huh? Sure, 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 sure. Well, I'm actually, that's weird that it sounds like that, because I'm fucking turbocharged, ready to go. Uh, Are you turbocharged, ready to go? Could you bring bullet. something different to the intro then, please? I mean, it's just, I can't control what my voice sounds like, but I do want everybody at home to know I am turbocharged. I'm fucking chock full of acai berries and power berries and protein yogurt, and I'm ready to fucking party. Wait, so, hey, Griffin, can I check yeah. in? I'll just sign. You can't control what your voice sounds like? Yeah, really? That's a great SNL character. I don't know if you ever if you um, ever heard about that. It's also no. kind of like the one thing we do for a living on a regular yeah. basis. Just make the yeah. voice sound like something else. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 ha- I just want everybody at home to know I'm not sad. Because I, I ate, I ate so many fucking acai super berries this morning, and it's got. Uh, did you hear me laugh? Yeah, yeah. that was better. I like so that intentional, be, or did so it, it just slip out? It just came out because I was thinking about all the delicious, big and juicy acai berries that stained my fingers when I ate them like a naughty boy in grandma's garden. Um, <laughs> and so I do feel. I, I feel. Think so I feel good and strong and powerful and energetic. And that so look, but go. I have layers behind my behind the sad, the obvious sad behind blue eyes. Did yeah. you guys hear about what James Cromwell did? <laughs> I did actually. I don't Griffin, know. Did you? I don't. I don't know James Cromwell from Madden. Okay, James yes, Cromwell. Yes, you do. He's the farmer from Babe. He's the farmer from Babe, and other things. Oh, all right. He's I the think farmer he was... from Babe, and he did that'll. Do, I think he was probably in Star Trek, and he's in Secession. Oh, he was definitely in Star Trek. He was the he invented the warp. He invented drive. the warp drive for crying out loud. But that's not really what's important, Griffin. I want to tell you about what James Cromwell did. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> James Cromwell got himself in a little bit of a sticky situation. Uh oh. Because what happened, Griff, is that. James Cromwell, popular old man James Cromwell, super glued himself to the counter of a Starbucks in New York. Yes, yes. <laughs> to He's protest. Glued. Which part of himself? His, his hands. hands. He super glued his hands to the counter <laughs> Why to did... protest the fact that they upcharge for vegan milk. <laughs> All right. Can you imagine you're just trying to get through your day and then you see the farmer from Babe and he's like, check this out. I'm a sticky bandit. Yeah. And then he glues his hands uh, to be, to the counter and that's your day. But it feels like I could get, I could hand my credit card to the cashier and receive my expensive, you know, uh, oat milk latte uh, like around James Cromwell. Do you know what I mean? Like he's got gaps. Like we could go through the armpit 
or between the legs. Like, there's a lot of ways to get coffee past Jim Jim Cromwell. I feel yeah. like. Uh, yeah. Here's what here here here's what I'll say for Jim. Could you hand me the? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Now, oh, uh, you don't for Jim. Hold this story stick in your mouth for a second, please. Thank you, Jim. If you're listening, I understand. It is, uh, I would say, a bad practice because it discourages the ordering of uh, the vegan option, and it's unfair to people who can't have. You know, that would. Yeah, I get it. I Better get for the it. environment. To, sure. Yeah, for sure. I love I get all it, of Jim. It. But you know it's not the person behind the counter who sets the prices, right? You know that, right, Jim? Jim? That it's person with a trendy that. haircut and like a uh, dyed hair that's not the color that He's appears not, in I nature. Be clear, Travis. He was not protesting that morning that his cough, his personal James Cromwell He didn't Cromwell have the blend. super glue in his pocket, and he was like, how much for a vet? Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, but he, he, actually, he actually loudly announced several times, don't get it twisted. I have 70 cents. Yeah. But I mean, the only person he's inconvenient, like, yes, that's going to make its way up the chain to Mr. Coffee, who's kind of an asshole about it or whatever. But that person, the person he's inconveniencing is the person who's just like, Listen, man, I'm just counting down until my break. Please, please, yeah. Jim. I need these tips, Jim. Please. Um. Yeah, what's your all's favorite way to sort of sneak a coffee past James, Sticky James Cromwell? Like, what oh, under, under the right arm. Under yeah, the right arm. And then I like to stick my arm in there and pretend like I'm James Cromwell. Uh, and it's yeah. like, hey, everybody, this I would is do my like a, hand. I'm going to scratch my nose. Boop, boop, boop. I would do like a high five with his free hand. And then when his arm was up, like he has made a defensive sort of gap in the in his in his sticky armor, and I would definitely get one past him. Did he just do one hand? I guess he would have to. Well, no, no, no. He did both hands. I think. Uh, How did he get out of this? How did he get out of this? It says on CNN that he used a knife. (laughs) Oh no! (laughs) Yeah, Jim. Yeah, nail polish remover will take care of that, Jim. I mean, if he if you bring nail polish remover. To your uh, super glue protest, you're basically saying like I'm oh, not really committed. I lack you know commitment, I mean? but I will also say if he did both hands, then someone else had to wield the knife at, at actor James Cromwell. He uses fucking hands. mouth. He uses fucking mouth. Oh, Just, apparently they had Sir Paul McCartney write a letter to the former CEO of Starbucks to ask that they would eliminate the extra vegan milk fee. Yeah. Um, because they did that in the UK. And so he's probably like, all right, check it out. It's good here. Yeah. Um, well, won't you strike Sorry, it down? Sorry, is this Paul McCartney or James Cromwell? Strike it down over, over there. Um, Which and one then is this? That was, that was Sir Paul McCartney speaking to former CEO Kevin Johnson, which I guess he was like, can you please ask the real CEO to stop doing it that way? It's me, Sir Paul McCartney. I'm but not fucking... sure how business works. Are you his dad? <laughs> Is that it? But if you would tell him. Okay, but so I watched a, the video. That's, he that's... did glue one hand. Okay. Just to like, just so, so he did have one hand free yeah. to give thumbs ups to local tourists or whatever. Uh, do you think he did that first hand and the people behind the counter like waited expectantly for him to do the second hand too? And then when they didn't, he was like, oh, oh, okay. I guess I just, th- Okay. Uh-huh. And the heartbreaking thing is this is an autograph in hand that he glued down. So he couldn't even like, you know, spend some FaceTime with the with the fans. And that I'm just was saying the this, real. Sir, yeah. anyone can draft an email <laughs> to former CEO Kevin Johnson. But Sir Paul McCartney's never gonna glue his hand to the counter of an American Starbucks. I think that they I, I like to imagine that they had to talk him down to gluing his hand to the counter. Like oh, he started like, gonna be his penis. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Starbucks and I'm gonna blow myself up. Like, well, oh. no, James, Jim, Jim, that's too far. He's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna cut my legs off. Like, no, I don't think so. No. Okay, I'll cut my hands off. No, Jim. Well, no, Jim, I don't want that either. Can I super glue both my hands to the counter? Getting closer. Warmer. Just. I'm going to super glue my testicles to the counter. No, Jim. Jim. No, we Jim. told you a thousand times. You can't do that. If you want to do that at home, that's your thing. Just want the one hand. I'll just glue one hand to the counter. The I was. Well, well, I could was, you do one finger, Jim? Listen, I'm drawing the line at one hand. I do have okay? my principles. If I attempted this, which I fucking wouldn't, but if I attempted this, I could. I be great if it became a thing, Griffin. I I would love it if this is the new trend. <laughs> is glue yeah. yourself to a Starbucks. Oh, the glue yourself to a Starbucks challenge. Yeah. Hey, coming from to you the, live from the creators of Punch Your Teacher comes the <laughs> glue yourself to the Starbucks challenge. I feel like if I I could go on, I could not eat or drink for 
a day. I could yeah. fast for a day and then slap my sticky hand down on that counter. And within, I would say two seconds, I my brain would immediately go, hey, piss sounds pretty good right about now, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, 100%. And I'd be like, brain, I literally pissed right before i pissed and then i put the super glue on my hand and then i slapped it down and my brain yeah, like, yeah right. i know but oh yeah did you get it all out it doesn't feel really like it to me. Right now. i had to yeah, go brain. to the the you know politics corner across from baskin robbins where oh, politics yeah, right. happens on election yeah. day yeah definitely i went with sid to like do the honk and wave thing with cars drive by she asked me to go and i was like wait a minute you want me to stand for one hour <laughs> In an unbathroomed locale, just like yeah. standing there. So I couldn't leave to go use the bathroom at home if I wanted to, right? So one full hour. And damned if the first car honked, I didn't have to like immediately use the bathroom. Like I have to be right now. It's it's urgent. Yeah, you're a great husband, Justin. Thank you for Thank making you. that sacrifice. That means Thank a lot. You. I'm sure it means a lot to your wife. I just as pissed well. pens. You oh, well, that actually I think makes you hi, let me check the chart. Oh, slightly worse husband. Oh no, but I but in the but in the Cromwell power rankings, you've moved you're still up, up there. Few. Yeah, you're, you're still Cromwell. up there, but you moved up for the sacrifice, but then you moved slightly down, you so a net you, positive. You crommed extremely well. Yeah, you crommed hard. <laughs> My name That's is what Justin. he is when he reaches his next level, crom hard. Yeah, when you use a moonstone on him, he evolves into <laughs> crom hard. Then he's Jim crom hard. Um, crom hard, you sticky slap. Crom hard. Crom hard. <laughs> Cromhard, use something else. Oh. That's not what I thought Sticky Slap was, Cromhard. Don't ever do that move again. <laughs> Delete that move. Put in Quick Attack. That sucked, Cromhard. Um, I'm going to uh, d- derail us from this comedy gold for a moment, just to say thank you to everybody, because I didn't get to say this last week, who uh, became a new upgrading or boosting member. Um, and also, in case you missed it, because, man, there are, I don't know if you guys are going to believe this, but there are some lucky few who are not on the social media. Yeah. Uh, we had to do a lot of dumb shit um, because you guys were very supportive. Uh, that included, uh, let's see, Macro Mix Up or My Brother, My Brother and Me Remix, whatever we called it, where uh, we did uh, redid an episode uh, in the 300s, I think, of My Brother, My Brother and Me, and we switched parts. So yeah. I was Justin, was Justin was Griffin, one. Griffin was Travis. It was silly. The but drive also, is over. We don't have to sell people on. Well, I'm We're just letting selling. people know. I'm just letting people know that it's there in case they didn't see it on social media. But also we had to get each other uh, haunted dolls. Oh, yeah. Mine has not offices. arrived yet. So Are you sure? I got, a, I got a delivered notification, Griffin. Did you? I did. Uh-oh. I think yours might come to me because I have to. I had mine sent to me. Because I didn't know if we would actually get to the goal or not. So now oh, I have to ship it so back So you out. have mine. Yeah, I have yours. Okay. Oh, wait. So, oh, right. I sent mine to Justin. Right, right, right. Okay, I'll, I'll ship yours out, Griff. Cool, cool. Justin, do you have yours? Because I already unboxed Neutral Roberta Sad Spirit. Neutral on the Roberta Macquarie Sad YouTube. Spirit, I do want to say I have seen pics of uh-huh. the dolls. And I I got the spookiest <sighs> one for you, definitely. It was I definitely spooky. It, tra- I definitely, I have it, Trav, but I have been waiting for... Like, because you did an unboxing video, I've been waiting for like a good muscle day. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I look I in the mirror every day, I'm like, is today a good muscle day? Jacked. Yeah. A day where I look not having done anything, but like I just happen to look jacked and swole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe you drank a lot of water uh, the day before, you retained all of it, and all of it somehow went right to muscle. Right to the muscles, yeah. Yeah. So I've been waiting for like a really strong muscle day. Well, actually, me and Neutral Alberta have really been hitting it off. Uh, she liked black coffee and gardening. Yeah. So I give her a little bit of and have you coffee every the, day. Have you heard the night yelling? Yeah. No, because I think I've been keeping her in a pretty good mood. Okay. Um, so she hasn't been sad. I think that we're getting well, her up to Well, it has nothing to, to do with her Roberta. emotional state. It's like when she, when she fills up with uh-huh. spectral energy, she lets it out by yelling really, really loud when the moon and stars are out. Um, okay. Yeah, so it's it's less like a, a a feared yelling and more of like a um you know steam escaping a kettle. Oh, okay. okay. You're gonna love it though. You're gonna really like the way it feels. I guarantee it. Now I have noticed in the listing it says unexplained sounds and movement, but I also have two dogs and a five year old and a two year old, so it's always hard to tell which of those is moving at any time. Yeah, just assume it's neutral, Roberta. Uh huh. Okay. Now it also says, and I love this. Uh, that uh, a lot of the information about her uh, comes to the seller via smoke work. 
I was like, hell yeah, dude. Smoke work, eh? Yeah. yeah. No, she does vape tricks for sure. Yeah, dude. I love that. Well, I'll- we're going to have these things in our rooms where you can see them and they can see us for one calendar year. So I can't wait to see how we really settle into the space. I am. I am. I will say this. Uh, a little confusing, Justin. You're a bit more of a haunted doll expert, so maybe you can explain this to me. Uh, this line, Roberta is a good spirit. I put the neutral label as she has a very sad disposition. If you had a sad friend who was good all the time, I think it would be positive. Is it that her sad disposition brings her spirit down to neutral? Because that's a bummer. It's because it's all garbage. Oh, okay, great, great, great. That is the thing. Yeah, I don't want to punch down or up or sideways, but the thing is about it is it's all nonsense. Um, and I think at this point they're mostly generated by AI. <laughs> this is yeah. my current theory that there's a that, that there's a robot. It wouldn't be hard, by the way, to make a robot that just like buys untended uh, shipping containers full of disused dolls oh, and right. individually generates A haunted for doll them. drop shipper is what exactly. you mean. Yes. Yeah. The, the Bezos drones are bringing haunted dolls. One last thing I'll say about Neutral Bird is a real, I'm just going to say, uh, a real steal, a real bargain, because she came with her own chair. So oh. I got a haunted yeah, doll that's nice. and that's her own nice. chair. Now the chair, if you watch the unboxing, came with, I'm going to say, about an inch and a half long spike on it that yeah. I think you're supposed to jam her butt down on to keep her in place. I removed that spike, and I'm hoping yeah. that will help with her sad disposition. It will certainly keep her more neutral. <laughs> yes. If someone said, hey, uh, for the rest of eternity, you're trapped in this doll, I'd be like, ah, oh, bummer. And also... Also, you'll be impaled ass-wise. <laughs> I, would, I would not be wild about that scenario. Remain neutral, though, while, or, while this happens. Uh, this is, I don't know if you've heard, but it's an advice show. And what we do is we take your questions and turn them alchemy-like into wisdom. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to helping you, our beloved listeners. Oh, great. I'm in a thrift shop checking out some cassette tape decks. I hit eject on one and there happens to be a recording tape in it with no markings on it. I am dying to hear what is on the cassette, but I'm not interested in buying the deck. Is it stealing if I just take the tape? Technically, the tape is not for sale, right? That's from copying cassettes in Colorado. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you take a, th- you take a thing without paying for it. You, just, you know, hmm. I have a friend who would be really helpful with this, and his name is Macklemore. Uh-huh. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep. What? 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 Hey, what Macklemore, is how's it going? Hold it's on, his connection's good. not good, and that's why. No, that's I. I'm hearing it. It's uh, okay. Travis had to step away. Sorry, that's just how I answer the phone. Hey, Macklemore, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How's it going? Well, you, you sound Justin? exactly the fucking same as my middle <laughs> brother, Travis. so close to Travis, it's hard to I've heard that. With. Yeah, I've heard that before. Isn't that Can wild? Can you try clearing your throat and yeah, see yourself more like Macklemore? <laughs> yeah, it's me, Macklemore. <laughs> What's up, Justin? J-Dog. Hey, Piss. hey, M Money. Um, I, uh, I, uh, what, did you hear the question, Macklemore? Of course I had the question. I'm always listening, baby. <laughs> You're listening to our live recording? Yeah, yeah baby. Hey, Hey, Mac Lamore, I want yeah. you, I would- Can you say his name again and don't stumble, please? That's yeah. so Sorry, embarrassing. Sorry, it sucks. Hi, Mac Lamore. I'm Griffin McElroy. Hi, Our Griffin. Name... How do you like it? Huh? Yeah, it, su- it sucks. Griffin just... McLeroy? Huh? I just wanted to let you know that you talk cool. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, man. <laughs> All right, you're back in it. Yeah. Okay, so- Your voice uh, is cool and the way you, the words you pick is cool. Uh, Benjamin, thanks, dog. Benjamin- yeah. If I may. Yeah, of course. Um, if, is that okay? Yeah. Benjamin. You just call me Jamin. Jamin. <laughs> and man, it's crazy that you had a, you changed your name and you didn't make it Ben Jamin. Because that like, ben uh, you've been ben. Jamin. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what my best friends call me. Ben Jamin. Okay. So like, here's the deal with this is like, what do you, is it stealing if you take a tape? out of a tape deck at a thrift shop. Oh, I'd say it's a package deal. If it's in there, that's part of it, right? You wouldn't find a deck of cards at a thrift shop and say, well, I can just take the ace of hearts, right? It's in there, it's in the package. So is it, I'm confused by by that. Shit. How's Ryan it, doing, Ryan Lewis? Yeah, how is we don't Ryan? talk Lance. anymore. We don't talk anymore. We get a phone oh, right. out. Yeah. Oh dang, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's it's about a kneeboard. Hey, is it true, Macklemore, that you have a 
a painting of a nude Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't nude to start off with, but um, you every used time eraser on the glove. <laughs> no, it's every time I looked away, the picture got neuter and neuter. And somewhere, Justin Bieber wore more and more clothes. It was really weird, man. It was totally messed up. I don't want to talk to you anymore. What? Yes, you do. We just started talking about this. I know, but I don't really want to talk. Hold on. Let me message you guys a nude painting of Justin Bieber. No. I already have it. Oh. Too late. That's cool. (laughs) Why did you send this to me? (laughs) Because this is a painting Macklemore owns. Hey, anyways, this tape's probably haunted. I got to go. Bye. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) I can't believe that we had Macklemore on the show and we didn't ask him. About like any of his other works. Um, did his other song, the one song that he did that was supposed to heal the world? Yeah, that, remember? Yeah, that, that fixed was, everything. Uh, same love. Same love. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking of? And there was also the time that he said like a great white shark on Shark Week, and that was pretty good. I like that one. I yeah, know, I so to ask him about that. We've actually reached, I've reached the Macklemore horizon oh. where I oh, can't no. actually, yeah, I don't want to mess uh, up way to talk about our cousin. You want to so, talk about him, Macklemore? This fucking hell, dude. So yes, yes, yes. The uh, the wizard sent sent us in this one by actually. Art oh, the wizard sent it. No, directly? sorry. Art sent. This Approach one in. me. <laughs> this is the lowest sc- art sent it in. Thank you, Art. It's the lowest score I've seen. This one has a fifty percent rating. I didn't realize there were ratings. There are. There are, and this and is quite low. I'm sorry. That's the lowest you've ever seen. Fifty percent. Yeah. So, uh, holy shit! It's got forty three co authors. Wow. Um, Takes a village, huh? If each one of them voted 100% on it, it would definitely be higher than this, right? Who's not pulling their weight? Uh, Yeah, I don't, I, 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 there's no credits on it, so I can't say, but it is how to use chocolate to spice up your relationship. Oh, yeah. Chocolate and romance are often considered to go hand in hand in the love department. In fact, offering a box of I'm sorry, Griffin, one one quick uh, note. Uh, Could you say love again with a couple more O's in it? And yeah. the lo- no, that was no. That's not what I too meant. Many. Too, too many, many, too many zeros. Griffin, Department. Griffin, it's too many zeros. In yeah. fact, offering a box of delectable fine chocolates on Valentine's Day to your lover is a common standard, oh. historically considered to be an aphrodisiac, inciting passion and attraction. You all already know what it is. Yeah. So you let's get, get that into cacao, and you get rock hard. Yeah, the cacao makes you turgid. So <laughs> this is the first step. <laughs> turgid enough to hold up a syrupy pancake. Yeah. Mm. He is gonna have- Now you do have to be careful. Too much chocolate will turn it full into a pancake. You yeah. gotta be so careful. It'll start guys. to if you get too turgid, it spreads out left to right, and you mm-hmm. are gonna hate that the way that feels. <laughs> yeah. Um so it's first step out of what is uh, just uh, all of them are so good, but the first one is conduct a sexy chocolate treasure hunt. Huh. Choose a huh. Cho- choose a time when the kids are with friends and create a steamy game of chocolate hide and go seek. Don't tell your significant it's in my butt. I mean, it does. It's just implied, right? It is it, in my butt. It is. It there the inst- the map. You had all the clues with the milk, milk, lemonade, turn around, fudges made. You had everything <laughs> you needed to solve the case. <laughs> Don't tell your significant others. Just allude to an evening of intimacy and to quote, "Be ready." Okay, okay, okay. How Get do ready. you allude to mm-hmm. a sexy chocolate treasure hunt without yeah. explicitly saying that in a way that's that is not concerning? Yeah, I mean, if anyone tell if 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 my wife tells me, hey, just so you know, it's gonna get steamy tonight. Mm-hmm. Be ready. Be ready. I don't like that. Actually, gives me less information yeah. than if she just had told me nothing. Yes, like that's gonna send me into a bit of a a bit of a panic. Um, just get just uh, you're gonna be looking uh, for some clues. What did you do? I just I, I don't worry about say, it. There's some stuff hidden around. What it, what did the you friends, do? The friends are with the kids. Be ready. Uh, create, uh, purchase a large box of pre-wrapped chocolates, preferably your partner's favorites. Create a, either a trail of chocolate pieces and rose petals leading to the boudoir or devise an interactive treasure hunt. I got I mean, dogs. I can't do that. Yeah, that's a really excellent point. Well, the dogs are with friends too. and With then, dog friends or with people friends watching them? It couldn't matter less. They're dogs. It does matter. If they're with dog friends, they're going to get out to shenanigans and chase for, alley cats and yeah, knock over tre- trash cans. For treasure hunt clues, weave both humor and rom- romance into the text, such as find your next treat in the place where I take my evening seat. A favorite. Bathroom? 
No, a favorite, a favorite nope. sofa. That's a toilet, for sure. And then leave a small clue with each piece of chocolate until the hunt culminates either in the bedroom or a cozy area of your home where you have arranged for a romantic dinner for two. And then, I can't stress enough, too, and I can't believe they didn't include this in the instructions. Turn the air conditioning way up because yeah. you do not want to, like, hide chocolate, like, in the couch on, like, a 90-degree day or some shit. And yeah. it's like, oh, you fucking ruined the couch. What ha- Like, Ed, this is all goop in my head. What have you done? Uh, the end of the chocolate treasure hunt could involve you smothered in chocolate or at least with chocolates oh, artistically man. laid smothered? out. Smothered? Oh, no! <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> Waffle House hash brown, baby. <laughs> What? How did so, he die? Well, uh, <laughs> smothered and covered. So now we're looking at step two, which is make a playlist of music featuring chocolate. Chocolate rain. A simple rain search using the term chocolate, chocolate rain by Tezande, chocolate rain <laughs> remix, chocolate rain radio Ch- edit. Chubby rain. Uh, from, just keep going. From fucking, oh God. I was that Pluto oh, Nash? No, it was oh, Bowfinger. Bowfinger, Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, what? Give me chocolate by Baby Metal uh, is going to be. It's going to really get the party started. Um, a simple search using the term "chocolate" on a music programs such as iTunes will reward you with numerous tracks based on chocolate or chocolate themes. Um, you know, can I jump back a second to say that individually pre-wrapped chocolates to make a trail is a lot of work. I and think, a lot of litter at the yeah, end. Yeah, a much more uh, I would say direct and easy to accomplish thing. Just grab like a bottle of chocolate syrup. Start at one point and just like squeeze it into a line to yeah. create a trail. That's a much clearer a slippery, trail, a slippery fun trail. And then you just walk and you lick lick it off the ground. Yeah, like a like a dog, like a sick dog. Take a bath in chocolate. Skip squeezing the Hershey syrup in the tub and do a chocolate bath the right way. Mm-hmm. While the internet is loaded with plenty of chocolate bath recipes, you might try WikiHow's own chocolate bath recipe or a chocolate bubble bath. Don't what? eat the choc. Don't eat the. It says don't eat the chocolate because your stinky body's in there. Um, so wait, but, is it literally just, first of all, the amount of chocolate syrup one would have to buy to fill a bathtub is Well, no, I, I, think it's, I think it's saying that you fill it with water and then you sort of like make it a hot cocoa situation. Then like so mix, you, ew, gross. I mean, we've all seen that scene where Augustus Gloop goes up the tube and you're like, God, I wish that was me getting squeezed no, by that oh, big tube. Incorrect, drowning. that's the worst. Yeah. Because it's stink? that weird white kind of weird milky looking chocolate gross. That was not he was not drowned. that that large boy was not drowned in white chocolate. You know that. No, right? it wasn't white chocolate, but it, it was like a pale tan. It was not like so it was it's rough, yeah. They I don't think that they could figure out how to make it look right. And so yeah. Willy Wonka came up with some bullshit about like, oh yeah, this is uh on uh, unhomogenized chocolate it, or something. It's red. It's crazy. Yeah, it looks like fucking muddy river water. It does yeah. not look like chocolate. Yeah, I mean, of all the ways to drown that that child who made the mistake of wanting to eat chocolate during his yeah. tour of the chocolate factory. We're for which in a room where everything was edible. Remind edible, was yeah, told. for which he was condemned to death. Yeah, he um, was told to eat. He's uh, like, He was, was told, told eat to stuff. eat, and then he ate, ate, and then they were like, now you get drowned, and... He was and like, then they sang a whimsical fair. song, and he was the first one to go. Yeah, not not like the the kid who like or the kid who like went into a room and was like, "I want to test out this cool technology." I'm a fucking child, well, and you and told me that this thing, technology can put me on TV. Yeah, I want to do it anyway. Have cho- trap. have chocolate on the menu for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, you're going to be pretty sick of it. Some examples: beef stew with chocolate. Gross. I guess Ooh. not. Uh, white night teeny, which I guess has white chocolate in it. I mean, you could do like a mole, which would be that nice would be mole. nice. Chris Kohler's got a real nice recipe for uh, Japanese curry that has chocolate. Oh, that I sounds can see that working. So I yeah, would yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really good. Try body painting with chocolate. No. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I mean that sounds good to me too. Um, I found a recipe, by the way, for chocolate milk bath. If you want to do that, you just dump a cup of powdered milk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And a tablespoon of cornstarch That's yeah. into a tub, and then you just do that. Yeah. That can't and be enough. T- I love taking a bath where I have to take another bath yeah. right after. <laughs> like I have to j- get directly in the shower and then clean. So I don't vomit on myself. <laughs> and then clean the shower because you've left a big, a big brown mess everywhere in it. <laughs> Here's um, the thing about sticky, uh, <laughs> sticky brown well, foam. No, the that's the a thing stretch. about the the chocolate body painting is if you're the type of like partners that would be 
into chocolate body painting, you've already done it without WikiHow having to tell you to do it. So if you're doing it off of WikiHow's thing, there's no way it's not weird. There's no way there's not a moment where it's like, and I guess I'm gonna put it on your nipple. Um, yeah. Is this, put it here on your butt. The, is the, this doing it for you? The recipe you? they provided is as follows. 17 and a half ounces of dark chocolate, 13 and a half ounces of cream, a handful of chopped mint leaves, one finely chopped chili pepper, and a double Ooh. shot of espresso. So that's going to taste bad and feel bad on your body. <laughs> is that for the bath? I'm putting a, chi a chili no, no, pepper. This is body paint. This is body paint. This is no, body, thank body you. paint. A little bit of a tingle. Paint my balls with mint and pepper and espresso. <laughs> I am so awake. Let me wait. Let me get real sweaty first and open up my pores. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, perfect. Now put the chili pepper immediately on my glands. No. <laughs> Give a gift of exclusive chocolates. The fuck does okay. that mean, Wiki? How at the These end of are bespoke, no exclusive chocolates, bespoke chocolates. Uh, buy the most delectable box of chocolates possible, or oh no, yeah, or naughty anatomy chocolates. Oh, like a dick? No, Travis, Travis. like a tibia <laughs> and a and a and an elbow. Uh, and present your beloved with it to help him or her recapture the evening of chocolate indulgence for a little longer yet. Please, God, no more. You Can bathed you me in it and painted me in spice in the spicy chocolate and have burned my nipples so badly. Yeah, eat this. Eat this extremely expensive French dick chocolate. Bring oh, it back. Please, no. This is, uh, it's called Richard. It's seal French. The, seal the giving with a French kiss involving oh, passing an exquisite chocolate between the two of you. Gross. That that's um you know that's a, the most phonetically pleasing sentence I think in the English language is seal the giving with a French kiss involving passing an exquisite chocolate between the two of you. Try also, saying. Also, do you want to you want to trade gum? We could do that too we if can, you want to. We you can, can do it with that. any candy. It doesn't have to just be chocolate. Can and I also just? Uh, yeah. No, like rule number one, like advice number one on this should be like before, like the most important thing. Be so careful not to get into an argument when you have all this planned, because can you oh imagine God. like you made up all this body paint and like you filled the tub with chocolate and you like ordered dick shaped French exclusive chocolate and then like you get into a fight about like whose turn it was to like into the dishwasher or whatever and you're like okay fine whatever. Yeah. Also, or like I hate your I hate I hate your mom. Finally, you said it. We're so sti we can't do that. We're too sticky to do this right now. I can't leave. I can't storm out of the apartment right now. Our shower is covered in fucking chocolate. I have no. And there might to be go. like wolves outside or something. I don't know, man. We live in the woods in this scenario. Uh, the last one is visit a chocolate spa, which is certainly something that everyone has. I just want to end this with the community Q and A. It has uh, one question, and the question is: Why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> and, some, and the community answer says, if you both really like chocolate, this could be a fun way to enjoy yourselves. If it's not for you, turn the page. Wow. Mm, deep. That's Turn that's the page. Um, anyway, that's how to enjoy chocolate with your lover. If or you how to waste both, a bunch of chocolate with your lover. If you're both really gross. For me. Yeah, I think so too. Um, there's some extremely, by the way, if you are looking for some uh, good material to crank to there's some really great <laughs> images on this one for you just waiting there's can a, we get a, can we get a place, please? yeah please I do want to go there There is nothing better than a website. There's no status symbol I can think of that'll say to people, I'm somebody and I know where I'm going than a website. If somebody asks you, you're Earl, and you're like, what's an Earl? And they're like, you're URL. Uh -huh. And then you have to explain to them that you don't have one. They'll throw you out of whatever building you're in, even if that building is a plane. Squarespace is ready to step in and say, here, let us help you build a website. You can grow your business online and stand out with one of these beautiful websites. Make it about whatever you want. Squarespace doesn't care. <laughs> what? They're very permissive. You can, uh, if you got, want business features on your website, you know business features? I love they business got online features. Book yeah, online booking, scheduling. Hey, do you want clients on your website? Yes. They can schedule there. There's no hassles. They got galleries that you can customize to show people the different kinds of things that you make or do. And you can make videos effortlessly. There's a video studio. Do you guys know this? No. 
Squarespace can help you make and share engaging videos. They can tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. You can go to uh, squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial. Now they're now they're feeling generous. But when you're ready to launch, use the offer code my brother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace, business is here. Ooh. I like that. Let's get uh, Squarespace. Let's get in business. Let's Ooh. get in business. Try one more. Squarespace. Cash rules everything around me. There it think- is. Okay. No, I love that. Hey, Stitch Fix. Hey, you look- don't you dare. Where do you dare calling me that? Hey, Stitch I'm Fix. I'm your brother. No, sorry. I was talking to Stitch Fix. Oh, okay. Hey, Stitch Fix. You just sent me a pair of like rainbow funkadelic swim trunks, and I love the hell out of them. Thank you so much. Oh, I know. Oh, God. I was just filled with the shuddering realization that I will have to see those at some point. Oh, yeah, you will, baby, because they're perfect to my style. Hey, Justin, you know my style, and every time you see me, you're like, Travis, I love your style. I say, Travis, that's perfect to your style, a thing many people say sure. often. I notice how that look that you're wearing perfectly fits your style. Do you know why, Justin? Uh, why, Travis? Well, that's because I went on Stitch Fix. And whatever your style is, Jeez. now more than ever is the time to rock it. But maybe you can use just a little nudge to find out some looks. That's where Stitch Fix can help you out, Justin. Can I tell even, you what to do, even Justin? Even me? Even you, Justin. But I'm a disaster. Yeah, your style is a barren wasteland like the Mojave Desert. But even there, you can find life. Hi. I'm Travis McRoy, spokesman for both Stitch Fix and the Mojave Desert. Huge get. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you're going to do, you're going to go to Stitch Fix, and you're going to uh, take a few minutes to set up your style profile uh, with a few questions, and it's going to take care of it there. And you can do that from the Mojave Desert with free universal Wi-Fi located in the Mojave Desert. Stop lying. No, that's coming in 2025. We have big plans. Then, Stitch Fix expert stylist will go to work, finding items exclusively for you, Justin. For me? Even me? Even you, shipped directly to the Mojave Desert, where you will have to go pick them up. But just you, Justin, everyone else will get them at their homes. Wow, They'll send you five pieces to try on, you keep what you love, you send back what you don't, the shippings, returns, and exchanges are easy and free. So sign up today at stitchfix.com slash mybrother to get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash mybrother to get $20 off your first purchase. It's a limited time offer. Purchase within two days of sign up. And for the next 100 people that arrive at the front gates of the Mojave Desert, you'll get a free Muggsy Bogues bobblehead. So that's, don't that's wait. great. Yeah, I've always so wanted one of those. You can get it there. It's exclusive. It's a Mojave Desert exclusive. Hi, my name is Graham Clark, and I'm one half of the podcast Stop Podcasting Yourself, a show that we've recorded for many, many years. And uh, at the moment, instead of being in person, we're recording remotely, and uh, you wouldn't even notice. You don't even notice the lag. That's right, Graham. And uh, the great thing about uh, this, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. And, okay, go ahead. And you can listen to us uh, every week on MaximumFun.org. Or wherever you get your podcasts. Your podcasts. Did your neighbor back into your car? Bring that case to Judge Judy. Think the mailman might be the real father? Give that one to Judge Mathis. But does your mom want you to flush her ashes down the toilet at Disney World when she passes away? Now that's my jurisdiction. Welcome to the court of Judge John Hodgman, where the people are real, the disputes are real, and the stakes are often unusual. If I got arrested for dumping your ashes in the Jungle Cruise, it would be an honor. I don't want to be part of somebody getting a super yacht. I don't know at what point you want to go into this, but we've had a worm bin before. Available free right now at MaximumFun.org. Judge John Hodgman, the court of last resort when your wife won't stop pretending to be a cat and knocking the clean laundry over. How about another question? I would want that. I'm a 32-year-old woman. Nice. For, and, well, no, it's a question. Oh. 
I'm a 32-year-old woman who's forgotten how to socialize in this new world. So I was letting my hairstylist, whom I have never seen before, work away and focus in silence. I was quite relaxed with her hands in my hair, the white noise of the salon hair dryers, the ASMR crinkling of foils in my hair. Yeah. Suddenly I wake up to her asking me, did you just fall asleep? And I said, yes, I'm so sorry. She acted like it was no big deal. But I'm obviously embarrassed that I'm a grown woman who just fell asleep in the middle of a busy public place like some kind of toddler. I don't know. I had my glasses off. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't think I understand that sentence. I don't know. I had my glasses off. Oh, you're not a glasses wearer, Justin. Glasses, oh, the removal yeah. of glasses is often an indication to your body that it's sleep time. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a, okay, got it. I had my glasses off. I was comfy. She didn't mention it again, but continued to work in silence. I stayed very awake for the rest of the hair appointment. <laughs> Can I show my face here again? She did a good job of my hair. I don't think a sign would help. That You can't just cut us off yeah, the you, knees like that. You yeah. don't know. Terribly tired in Texas. A sign would help of like a cute cherub going, shh, I'm sweeping. That it's would help, time. I think. Um, hey, things are rough out there. And basically nobody's getting enough sleep. Yeah. Yes. If... If somewhat, obviously this is a different example, but if I know that people fall asleep to our podcast and that is a great honor because that is, I, w- I loved the idea of being, you know, this morph- podcast? Morpheus. Yeah. Just That's like why boring. I try to be as boring as possible and not funny. I have a podcast for people to fall asleep to about cereal. No, it's called The Empty Bowl. You want no, it too it's much. It's like intentional like Yeah, that, that one it's, wants it too much. It's desperate for it. Yeah. Um, and getting, hey, check this out. Getting your haircut feels good as fuck. Yeah. Like especially when they do the when they do the sh- the rinsey stuff the rinsing, um, that feels really good, and I can fully understand falling asleep during that. I don't think you have anything to feel apologetic for. I don't think this is a situation that they were embarrassed or they should be embarrassed by at all. I also think there's two different ways for the hairstylist to ask the question. Did they say, "Did you just fall asleep?" Or yeah. did they say, "Yeah, did you just fall asleep?" Yeah, yeah. Okay. I bet it was the that- latter. There's a big difference. Like, I, I, honestly, like, why did they ask? I think it's weird for them to ask. Mm-hmm. They, you should just like let it, let it slide, right? Like, did you just fall asleep? If I fall asleep while my wife is telling me something, she would never ask. You know, if I just fell asleep, right? You know what I mean? She just accepts that I'm uh, a bad person. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe the hairstylist asked because for them it's a point of pride. Like oh. I did such a good job that like I the person felt very comfortable with me and they fell asleep. And that's yeah. like, did you fall asleep? Yes. And they yes. like reach over and they add a little tally mark to the wall. I did it. I did, plus, it. I did it. Plus the sooner you, like the faster you fall asleep, that gives them like an early chance to eat the hair off the yeah. off the floor. Like they don't even have to <laughs> wait for you to leave. Like they can have a yeah. little sample of it right you, here. They can, they can taste the hair early yeah. to see how much they want to cut off. Right. Exactly. Well, you got to figure out if it's ripe or not. You know what I mean? Because some of the hair still needs time on the vine. They might they might finish the shampooing and be like, "Hey, I actually I usually we don't do it this order, but I am going to cut some more of that of your yummy locks off. I yeah. mean, your long, your gross long hair." Your, your That's a that good question. So do you think it's is it better to eat the hair before the shampoo when it has all of its natural oils and vitamins, or after the shampoo when you can maybe flavor it and you know do do I some know the uh, infusion? You're asking me, but like, I, it depends on are we working with you know all natural herbal essences shit that is yeah. going to make it taste like delicious, you know, cucumber melon? Or are we talking about some Pantene Pro-V that's going to taste like I'm eating up a, a, a lab chemicals? I have noticed that a lot of times when I get shampooed, there's like a mint quality to the the shampoo. And I now I'm like thinking that. that maybe my hair was dessert. Oh, that's possible. Mm, okay. So that's, I mean, we've talked a lot about eating here. Do we want to do another question, or has somebody in fast food done something silly, Justin? What? Oh, I want to munch. Oh boy! Yeah. I want to munch. I don't. I don't like. You that. can do it. Can you please do the thing? Squad. Oh, squad. Oh. 
Thank you. You had to complete the ritual. Oh, You're wait, something. I didn't... Only by you saying squalt am I able to take control of your brother's body and send him temporarily to hell. This I didn't such know a that that was... Yeah. yeah. Then you weren't paying attention. Yes, Griffin. Before I begin, I to me, Count Donut. I wanted to quickly review my Wikipedia page. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Well, not Wikipedia. It's the fandom.com wiki for my brother, my brother and me. Uh, I wanted to sort of reestablish canon for myself. Uh, I was reading through the page. Just a quick reminder for everyone. My name is Count Donut. Uh-huh. I also go by Donut Dracula, uh-huh. Kevin Donatula, and Count Party Bagel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I am immune to all earthly pathogens, but still wear a mask. I have internal blood syndrome. Mm-hmm. I live in a castle in Donutvania, yes. but consider myself a citizen of nowhere. Yeah, this is all good. I glisten in sunlight. Glisten, I huh? and someone named Richard Stink both live inside Justin, and when we emerge, Justin is sent to hell until they stop controlling his body. I knew that Now, part. this is what I forgot about. Count Donut has a son, Count Rick Donut Jr. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. that's sweet. I approach donuts aesthetically and could eat them, but prefer not to because of my gluten intolerance. <laughs> right. Great. I do need to drink blood to survive. However, I only steal the blood types nobody wants, like D. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So I just wanted to briefly thank whoever updates my uh, wiki page because I, I don't need the reminder about my own life. Of course, of course. not, yeah. But other people... It helps me. Approximate. Yeah. But no more self-congratulatory nonsense. I've come to talk to you about donuts with my favorite name to intone, Krispy Kreme. What do they do this time? They released a lineup of honey-inspired donuts. Honey-inspired? I thought you said uneaten spider donuts. Oh, wouldn't that be a treat? Now, uh, my first question before I begin is, what is honey? Oh, oh uh, honey yeah. is like bee leavings. Well, is it yeah. the blood of the bee? It's not the no. blood of the bee. I mean, it's like it, bee milk. Jeez. It's, <laughs> is it the jizz of the bee? Yeah, that's a better way of thinking. Yeah, that's a good, Travis, just go with it. Yeah, that's about it. Jizz. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what they Did call it. Did you get this? That's my I favorite thought? joke. For, have you seen the... Jerry Seinfeld being movie? <laughs> I come to watch movies. What? I get the car sick. Just sitting in Wait. place and watching a movie makes in you a movie car theater, sick? You get car sick watching a movie? Are you doing like the XD what stuff? What is a movie theater? Where are you Holy watching shit. movies? Wait. The only movies I've seen are in the back of Justin's Buick. His big, beautiful Buick. Right. He sometimes shows episode of Loud House back there. Is that a uh, movie? Wait, yeah, so sometimes movie. Justin, just so I'm clear, ca- uh, count on it. Sometimes Justin puts on an episode of Loud House and then goes back in the back of his own Buick to watch it while you <laughs> are behind his back while he drives. How does that work? You're in his body. <laughs> Not all the time. It gets cramped, especially after he eats a lot of Long John Silvers. I can't stay So in you there. don't have to be in his body. You I choose like to. to go in his body and send him to hell. Hey, it beats walking, baby. It's a cool body. Honey is Bee Gees. Yeah. Moving on. Fine. Krispy Kreme will have taste buds buzzing. Okay. And fans swarming oh. this month with its first ever sweet and sensational honey donut. I don't like the idea of donut fans swarming. There's something about Crispy, that that's horrifying. Krispy Kreme's Oh Honey <laughs> collection is available for a limited time beginning May 9th. There's three different ones. Okay. A honey pull-apart donut, which is glazed, light, and airy. Whenever someone advertises something being airy, remember that that is air that you have bought. <laughs> yeah. Advertising, ripping you off. <laughs> you want thick and chewy. Honey donut clusters drizzled with salted honey icing. Huh. A honey bee donut, which is an original glaze dipped in yellow icing and decorated with black buttercream and then finished Wait, with is there meat. honey in that one? Just looks like a bee. Okay. Oh, okay. 
And then a honey cake donut, a glazed sour cream cake donut drizzled with honey icing and finished with an oat crisp. That sounds okay. good as hell, actually, Count Donuts. Can I just I'm... say, Krispy Kreme, I'm going to say I see through the thin veneer here. Two of these were ideas. Airy, please. Yes, airy, airy veneer. Two of these were ideas you had, and you didn't want to just put out a two donut collection. So you said, okay, yeah, we'll do the pull apart one. Oh, and this one. Oh, yeah, the sour cream. With the... Oh, we need a third. Uh... Make one look like a bee. <laughs> like a fat bee. Um, he's adorable, by the way. It looks nothing like a bee. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know why they've done this. <laughs> what do, What are they? Here, look at this. Look at this donut. What are they trying to Oh, pull? Count Donut, this is a picture of Justin Bieber again. No, I've deleted that from Slack. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. Uh, yeah, that's not a, that's a circle with stripes and some. It's a circle with stripes and vanilla wafer wings. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. You love bees, right? Because Krispy Kreme loves honey and the small but mighty workforce that produces it. This is bees. The honey lovers doesn't will come with bee-friendly wildflower and seed paper for fans to plant while supplies last, thanking and feeding the bees. Krispy Kreme will also plant flower gardens at select shops to create more bee-friendly environments. Thank I God. Like that. Thank you. <laughs> it is. It does make you wonder, though, why Krispy Kreme decided to leave their stores barren <laughs> and undecorated, and it is only to delight the bees that they have festooned them in such a way. I also don't love getting a chore with my donuts. You know I'm not going to have an active day. I just bought 12 donuts. Oh, I'm, I'm staying at home. Oh, You'll be a donut? Donut. Hey, Count Donut, are you eating a dozen donuts by yourself? Uh, I'm not eating donuts. I'm gluten intolerant. Thank you for listening. Our innovation... This is Dave Scanner. Our in innovation team has been hard to... Wait, hold on. Let me do my Dave Skinner voice. Also, Skinnovation, please. Yeah. Our Skinnovation team has been hard at work to create our first ever honey donut collection. And so have honeybees. It's like Dave Skinner is right here with us. So help the honeybees by planting the flower seeds that we give you. When you buy these delicious donuts. I'm definitely not like infested with bees right now, controlling my mind in a weird meet Dave kind of situation. How would precisely 3,700 bees even <laughs> control a skin bag from the inside? Throughout the O Honey Collection's availability and on World Bee Day on May 20th, I'm sure they appreciate this, Krispy Kreme will also celebrate and thank organizations that advocate for and practice stewardship for bees, including the Planet Bee Foundation. I've been to the Planet Bee. I've, the Planet Bee, where bees are from. You haven't been there? Yes, that's where they come this from. This is going to be so fucking whimsical. I'm, so, I'm yeah. ready. It's, it's, a, it's not. I got, fuck, I got nothing. Yeah, I didn't think so. Pollinator education, environmental stewardship. Is this, Dave, is is this Skinner again? No, this is clearly Deborah Tomozu. This is Deborah. Okay. This is Deborah Tomaszewski, founder of the Planet Bee Foundation. They have virtual beehives. Can you imagine? From working with corporation. No, sorry. From working with corporations and companies like Krispy Kreme to students in schools, we're all responsible for the care of our environment. So that's what's going on with bees right now. Cool. It, yeah, you can save them by eating donuts and then throwing paper on the ground. The solution was in front of us the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm really hungry for donuts. I really yeah, there's sure. a Krispy Kreme 45 minutes from my house. Yeah. That's not too far. That's I'm great because considering it, guys. Well, Justin, you can balance out your carbon footprint by driving an hour and a half uh, round trip to get those donuts by then planting a few seeds for donuts that will make you stickier than James Cromwell, which yep. is <laughs> an accomplishment. As if such a thing was possible. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. My brother, my brother, and me. It's this one. And uh, 
seriously, thank you for your support during the drive. It really does uh, mean a lot to us that y'all are still still hanging after, what is it, like 12 years? Something along those lines. Oh, my God. Too long, if you ask me. Time to wrap it up. This is our last episode. No. What? Oh, man. We can never stop. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, coming up. Hey. Coming up. Hey. Hey. Time for Mr. Promo to take the That's mic. true. We have a virtual adventure zone this Friday, May 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it's, listen, I'm going to say that this is a, a game system that we've never played before and that we could really, I think, only play in a virtual test. So I think y'all are really going to dig it. So check that out. Get those tickets. Bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. Uh, while you're there, you can also grab all uh, all of the other shows we're doing uh, in places like Boston and at Foxwoods Casino and uh, Salt Lake City, Portland, San Diego, Washington, Detroit, Cincinnati. Uh, tickets for the virtual show are only $10. So one more time, bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. It's this Friday. 9 p.m. Eastern time, so don't wait. Uh, and let's see. Dad's book is out. Goldie's yeah, Guide yeah, to it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, so uh, make sure you go and order that at Linktree. That's linktr.ee slash Goldie's Guide. And go check out all of the, the merch stuff we got over there at Macroy Merch. Um, you're going to love it. It's great. You'll appreciate it. Some of it you'll put on your body. Some of it you'll put in your home. Some of it you'll hand over this to friends. Weird energy. Okay. Yeah, okay. MacroyMerch.com. Go check it out. Um, thank you to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better with You. Um, if you listen to it, it makes you taller and jump higher. That is true. And be better at sports. No kidding. And yeah, the no inverse kidding. is true as well. If you don't listen to it, you'll Yeah, I didn't listen to it yesterday and I lost the big game. Oh, man, so I'm I sorry. feel like I feel like absolute shit because I let my fucking team down. Anyway, I bet I'm going to end up doing James Cromwell's voice at the end, huh? Oh boy, I hadn't even thought about it, but that's a great idea, Griff. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, all right, here we go. Do that famous line from Babe. Yeah, I'll do the famous line from Babe. I hope no one makes jokes about <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I just get it one more time? Hey, and uh, be louder on the sound effects at the beginning, I think. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I hope no one makes jokes about this. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square <laughs> MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.